If you've driven across the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway or walked along the lakefront recently, you might have noticed something green floating in the water and a lot of it. It's really hard to miss. Paul Murphy explains what it is and how it got there. There are floating islands of vegetation in the middle of Lake Pontchartrain just off the Causeway Bridge. In some areas, you can spot them as far as the eye can see. I think it's just a little bit unusual to see these broken up plants floating under the lake, so I've just been getting a lot of inquiries like, what is that? I bet you know. <laughs> They're patches of floating water hyacinth. The invasive species from South America are more typically seen in freshwater bayous and canals that flow into the lake. Lake Pontchartrain Conservancy Executive Director Christy Trail explains why the lake is now filled with hyacinth. When we get a big storm with heavy winds and storm surge, such as Francine, which hit us last week, it churns it up and breaks it into pieces, and now it's flow some pieces of it are floating out there in the middle of the lake right now. We probably started seeing them about Saturday. Causeway so Motor Assist Causeway Causeway Officer Causeway Grayson Land. Crespo says drivers are very interested in what's in the water. So whenever we get them uh, out here in the lake, we'll have people call thinking it's a boat overturned or something else floating out there, and we, we, uh, we're constantly having to go run down and check it out or have them check on the cameras. The floating hyacinth can pose a threat to navigation. We've heard sometimes from boaters it can really be a nuisance. The root system doesn't typically get that deep. It's usually only just a few inches long, but it does tend to form a pretty thick mat that can sometimes be difficult to navigate through. Because of the salinity in the water, experts say water hyacinth won't last long in Lake Pontchartrain and will likely be gone by next week. Paul Murphy, WWL, Louisiana. Experts tell us because of the dynamic nature of the lake and the changing salinity, you won't see floating hyacinth covering the lake like you may see on a freshwater bayou.